If you're curious how to art journal daily, whether you're a beginner or a longtime artist, this intuitive art tutorial is going to introduce you to my morning musings practice. It includes a variety of simple mindful art journaling prompts to get you started. If you've ever felt the urge to create but didn't know where to start, or if you'd love a calming creative practice in your otherwise busy and hectic day, this video is for you. Today we'll be transforming what might be a cluttered mind and blank pages into colorful art journaling prompts that reflect our thoughts, feelings, body sensations, and more as we practice simple art as meditation for self-care. And while it's not art therapy, many people find it therapeutic and a really beautiful practice to support mental health and well-being. Before we dive into this fun and simple mindful art journaling exercise, let's talk about the inspiration behind my morning musings and our journey today. So the practice of morning pages was introduced by Julia Cameron in her book, The Artist's Way. I love and adore it, many of you do as well, I know. She suggests writing three pages by hand done first thing in the morning, if you can, but it's not required, as a form of free writing, meaning you don't edit or censor yourself. So morning pages are aimed at clearing your mind, and I love, love, love how Julia says they siphon off your worries, and they can help to tap into your creativity and your subconscious. Now, while morning pages focus on writing, our practice today, morning musings, or sometimes I love to endearingly refer to them as mindful musings, expands this concept. So I created morning musings as a practice for myself back in 2014 and began originally sharing it with my students in my current mindful art teacher training that began online in 2019. I'm so excited to share it with you today. I'm going to show you my favorite way to explore this morning musings practice and I'm going to walk you through some simple art techniques as well as share the five steps to this morning musing practice. And I want to say before I dive in that you can use any art media for this. So I'm going to be showing the examples with watercolor paints, but you can do this with oils or pastels or acrylics. You can also do this with colored pencils, markers, crayons, even just a pen and paper. So I don't want the materials themselves to hold you back. It's really whatever you feel either most comfortable with or most curious about in the moment, as well as what you also have on hand. I think that sometimes less is more and it's nice to really work with just a couple of materials that you have and that that'll change over time. The key part about this morning musings practice is that similar to morning pages, it's a way that we can express ourselves not only with words as a daily check-in to siphon off our worries and to notice what we're feeling in the moment, but also to do that through imagery, through colors, through marks, through different shapes. And I love this because it adds another layer of how we can express ourselves. So the first thing to say about what I have here on the page is this is my body flow painting practice. So what do I mean by body flow? So I love to practice and teach a body scan painting meditation where we're noticing what we're feeling in our body with different sensations. We're noticing our thoughts and our feelings. And we're not only feeling that as a check-in, but we're also getting that onto the page. And it doesn't have to be an exact representation. Um, there's no pressure around that, but it's just giving yourself permission to make marks and choose colors that feel like what you're noticing in the moment. And so what I'm doing here is I'm imagining at the bottom part of the page that that's more of my feet the middle part of my page would be like my midsection and torso. The top part of the page would be more of my head area, top of my neck and shoulders. And you can do this within a body frame. So I'll show how to do that with a figure as well. Or you can do it in a shape like a triangle or in a circle, like a mandala shape or square. I'm doing this practice today without any outside shape or container. So the first thing to mention with a morning musings practice is that you want to have it be 10 to 20 minutes daily. That's ideal. You can do this practice in as little as two minutes, five minutes to keep your creativity and art journaling muscles active while also practicing mindfulness. So because we're noticing on what we're feeling in our body, our thoughts and our sensations, we're also practicing this awareness. and 
doing it in a way, hopefully, where you're returning back again and again without judgment. And so we're building a muscle of being compassionate with ourselves that I just absolutely adore. I want to speak a little bit more to this practice that I'm doing as well as share some tips and the full five steps to the morning musings practice. So what I'm doing here with watercolor, if you are playing with those paints, is I allowed part of the painting to dry. I love to work wet and wet, and sometimes I like to add more layers on top of that. So that's what I've done here. I was working wet and wet in that bottom portion. I let it dry, and now I'm coming in to add more layers. This has been a favorite of mine is using gold. Anyone who hasn't played with gold yet, I highly recommend it. It is super fun and gratifying. Um, so I, I love adding gold again after it's dried on top to add little pops of color. So the day that I painted this recently, I was experiencing a bit of pain in my foot that I had a previous injury on. And so that's where some of that red color came in. And these gold specks is my way of offering healing and some comfort to that area. But you can see that the lower part of that portion is for my foot or the lower part of my body and then coming up towards my head area in green. So I want to share the four other steps to this morning musings practice. The other step is to create in an art journal. You can do this on loose sheets of paper and that's absolutely great. What I love about doing this in an art journal is that you can flip through and see perhaps patterns or how things have changed from week to week or month to month or as you fill up that journal. It's also kind of your sweet place that you go to every day when you have your morning musings or mindful musings practice. So I highly encourage having it all housed in an art journal and you'll move through different art journals as you do this practice. Similar to mindful art activities that you've heard me share here on the channel if you've been with me before or in some of my online classes or teacher trainings, mindful art is all about trusting the process and that there's no right or wrong way to do it. So that is true here for my morning musings practice. There's no right or wrong way. You can't mess it up. Anything you want to explore as far as shapes or colors or patterns or words and uh, writing that you'll be exploring afterwards once the image is finished is all welcome. So part of this practice is, and it's also about trusting the process. So not only trusting the process, but making the process your own. So I mention this in my online classes all the time. Everything that I offer is an invitation. So you may choose to slightly change it. You might tweak part of the instructions and that's absolutely perfect. So the other piece is to add in how you're feeling. You might want to write afterwards. I have different journaling prompts that I share and different exercises I share in my classes. Love to hear in the comments what you notice, what you love most about this morning musings practice. And if you're curious to be guided through a body scan drawing meditation, you can watch this video here.